G'day, we're Lee from Amazon Execute. I'm a partner in crime, Agrid. How you doing, buddy? Fairly well, fairly well. Fresh off the CitizenCon boat. It's the day after CitizenCon. Uh, so we thought we'd start light and easy and refreshing with the little scouts. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh, I laugh. I scoff. Right. Yes, I know why you're scoffing. We've just had a big argument. Right. Uh, <laughs> big discussion. But, but, uh, uh, it got We're heated. still smiling. Yeah, yeah, We're that's, that's the main thing. But um, so, and it was a disagreement on this. So we'll, we'll talk about it though. Um, so, tell me your thoughts. What, what is what what, what? what do you, what do you think of it? We'll start. There. It is a. I think you sum it up. You summed it up best. It is a poor man's terrapin. Ter yep. It is and, a starting ship for scouting. That's it. And it's um quarter the price of a terrapin. Yeah. I think that kind of tells you the terrapin's overpriced. <laughs> As we said all the um, way back then when we talked about that. So yeah. Hmm. So you look you look at this. It is a. It's currently selling in the market forty five dollars war bond. The uh, ship mate, the uh, ship upgrade gives it a fifty dollar value. Yep. Um, versus a terrapin's two hundred and twenty dollar value. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, it's that's that, that's a massive difference. Mm -hmm. Um. I I wish it was small enough to fit in a carrot, because I, I think it'd be a, a beautiful. Don't uh, disagree on that. Yeah. Um, Still put it in a um in a Polaris, but would you put a Terrapin in the Polaris over this? I think you would. Oh, I think you'd put a Terrapin in a yeah. Polaris over this. Yeah. Um, I'd, I'd love to see, I'd, you know, I'd love to see a, an, a C8 with, with that scanning array. Mm. Um, now, I know we, early on we, we started talking about yeah. um, what we think the difference is between um, a scout versus a, whole, a, a, worm, a wormhole jumper or a, a jump point jumper. Mm. Um, and I think that there may be a difference in, in that. Um, mm. and so scouts are looking for different things, whereas mm. those doing jump points are recording information and have mm. different sensors to enable them to do that with ease. All right. So well, they... let me just talk about this real quick. So yep. main, this is the main room. This is the main changes. Yeah. So we've got, mm -hmm. um, a two a size two cooler and a size two power plant which is the the main big difference between this and the base and obviously you've uh there is a button here that says deploy but i think they've obviously changed that that was originally what i thought the um uh, rate of dish was going to be uh, but obviously you've got your scanning station here that you can use or engineering station for scanning now i i i, I question this to you algorithm do you think that's going to be you're going to have to get off your passenger your your pilot seat and come access this is that is that your sense there? Yes. I would imagine. Well, it's a manned station, so I hmm. would hope that's the case. And I imagine, and I would expect that you'd have ideally a second person hmm. on the ship running that. Yeah. Um, and that's something this ship doesn't have. Also, um, radar component uh, by Sh yep. Shamira as well. Um, and then obviously they had to move the door into the middle so you could actually get into here. But it and it, and they shortened this just a little bit. You can kind of roughly work out where it was. So it was almost about here. And so they just, one one. Yeah. yeah. And then, so you've still got your toilet, still got your bed. Everything else is exactly the same after that. So it's literally just yeah. this walls being pushed in. Um, and, and the room become a little smaller. Yeah. The uh, front, the front's exactly the same. Still got the fire extinguisher and all that stuff. And the components in here is all exactly the same. Um, the only other real difference is external. Um, and when yep. you power the ship on, you get this little dish that pops up. Um, another little feature, I'll have to turn it on though to get it to work. Hold on, bear with me, please. And now it's not turning on, doesn't make it. There we go. Is um, instead of a big singular exhaust, you get two quarters, so basically half the engine yep. power, but it does also get fuel scoops, so you have to assume that this is going to go a little further arranged. And as you see there, the little dishes stepped up to the party. Currently uh, deployed. Yep. yep. So. Um, who's what else this? does this ship have? Uh, sorry? Uh, uh, the ship also has uh, the size 2 weapons mounts and size 2 missiles. Um, I'll see if um, I can turn the missiles on for you, Agra. Hold on. There you go. They little deploy at the bottom there. Yep. So it's got it's got two size 2 missiles and two size 2 weapons mounts. Yep. Uh, that is better than or is a higher grade of weapons mount than the C8s. So that makes it good, but we're also aware that they're remodeling the way 
gimbals and stuff work. So yeah. there's subject to change. I think we'll call subject it. to change. I think the only thing we can do is look at weapon size, weapon mount sizes versus others, and yeah, um, yeah. So that's about it hmm. in, in terms of that. Who do you think this is for, Algrid? In your um, opinion, I think it's for those who want to be. I think it'd, it'd be good for those who are trying to look for other ships and other things in a in a location. I don't think it's going to be necessarily good for jump point mapping. Mm -hmm. um, but I think certainly for scanning for uh, other ships or possibly materials or points of interest, anything that's going to give you back a, a positive ping, uh, what the that will be the type of ship that what will the hell? work for that. Sorry, someone's shooting me. Yeah, you can see that. Who is that? Is the station shooting at you? You're no, in the, it's uh, a, it's a, it's a ship called. Uh, I got a feeling this is a WRL person. Yeah. <sighs> when you're doing reviews on live servers, yeah, yeah great. Yep. All right. Anyway, um, I'll just go closer. Get him shot by the station. Um, yeah, long story short, yeah. um, I think this is for people into the starting profession of scanning. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to get it destroyed here. Well, he got destroyed, even better. You soft deft? Um, I think I did. Oh, well. So. <laughs> this is going to be the funniest review ever. But anyway, um, yeah, at the end of the no, day, it it's doesn't take a beating. There you go. No, it doesn't take a beating. It does go further than the the base variant. Um, it obviously is going to have those uh, the ability to go extra extra miles because of the the way the engines work. Um, but uh, yeah, I think at the end of the day, my biggest complaint with it, actually, believe it or not, is actually just that it has the biggest cargo area, um, hmm. but you don't really do anything with it. It's yep. just you just get this scanner. A um, large, a large back room that can't fit a rock, and it can't, yeah, and it can't really take cargo. Mm. Um, so yeah, you, you're giving like essentially. I can understand why they've got it here. This, this big scanner is meant to justify the weight of two SCU, but it just kind of doesn't compute. And again, you've got this massive big room with all these tire tread uh, stands on it. I assumed it was for a vehicle, but maybe in mm. time we might get one. But yeah, right now it it just doesn't compute. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it there. I think compared to uh, the, the other thing is we know that the radar on this is a medium. Yeah. We also, uh, people have asked uh, what's better, a Terrapin or this. Mm. Uh, currently, we see that both have, both a Terrapin and the Cutter have a medium mm. radar, but the Terrapin has two, uh, two utility mounts that are size two scanners, and that's all we can really mm. say. Mm. Things are changing. How it's going to change, we can't tell you. Mm. Uh, and we, we basically went back and forwards for uh, easily an hour on, on what that meant. And I th I th I I, absolutely I, simple. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> well my, the one I wanted to say, and Agri, you can correct me if you think I'm wrong, um, this visually has one on top, that has one on top and on bottom. So when I break it down, this can scan for one thing at a time. So this can look for rocks as an example, but the Terrapin could have the one on on the top looking for rocks, but it also could have the one on the bottom looking for life forms. So you, so it just allows you a bit more flexibility with the Terrapin to look for two things at once, where this is kind of limited to one. And I think that's, you know, it do, does that hold it back? By the way, the Terrapin's like one of the only ones that I'm aware of. I think there was the Aquila. That has two as well. There's not. The there's not. Got two size two, and the MSR from memory has one. Yeah. So the only other one that falls into it is is the Aquila. Hmm. So um, again, and I think there's like three or four different types of things you can scan for. So even then, they can't do everything. And um, and the other thing to remember that even though that looks like it's got a scanner on top, and the hmm. and the Terrapin's got scanners on top, every ship with a radar could hmm. do some form of scanning. Yeah, that's true. The question was, what does a additional scanner offer? And we don't really know. Mm. Um, all we can say at the moment is based on the information we've got, and we went, we trolled through. Based what it's uh, doing there, it's shooting blue circles into the sky. 
Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we trolled Urkel, we trolled the, the yeah. Matrix of Lies, we trolled, so, yeah. we, we trolled several areas. And we, um, are, we are coming up to where they're doing a pass on all this stuff, and, and they talked about the merging of the ping and the radar system, so it's all very fresh coming straight off the back of Citizen Con, so it's a little bit up in the air right now. But, uh, but for me, the takeaway is one versus two. Agra, I think you kind of think it's a bit more complicated than that. Yeah, but, I, I, yeah. I look at the ships and go... Every ship's got a radar. Every ship mm. with a radar can do some scanning. It's listed as having a medium radar. That's, that's, uh, and its scanning is linked to that. Mm. Whereas the Terrapin, for example, has the medium radar, which, is, again, is going to have some form of scanning, yep. but it's also got the utility amount with the extra mm. scanning ability. And I, I can't say how that's going to balance out. It could mm. end up being a two versus one. It could mm. be... Um, two additional extra scanners so it can scan for three things instead of two things but that's all speculation and, and let, let, let me let me kind of end with this then would you recommend this over the base cutter uh, and i can't because i think it loses too much i think you yeah, lose that I, I, general appeal um where this um, is a bit more niche if, if I was looking for someone who said i want to be scanning and searching for stuff and if it was if yeah. it could take a rock Absolutely. If you were mm. looking at mining, hundred percent. Yeah, that's uh, something we you... we theorise though. You want to give him your theory, uh, or basically, I can give the theory that we think there may be a vehicle down the line that explains that really big um, cargo mm. area. It's the only thing that makes logical sense. Why make it so much bigger? And I know, as I said, you can yeah. kind of say the scanner takes up that place, and that does make sense. But like, why leave the room so physically large and big? It just doesn't compute. I, um, I and, 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 and also in the linked leaked images and video of this thing, it didn't have any cargo area. Mm. It had none. It just had four yeah. tire things, which were for vehicles, like to strap them down to the top. So it's cha and, it's changed essentially. And you look at the you look at the video when they talked about the scout, you know, in 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 mm. Citizen Con, and what was the vehicle? You actually saw a vehicle behind, it and it was a mule. And I actually yeah. think it's it's made to take a mule. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if we see mule variants down the track. Yeah, um, or, or another moment. or another vehicle that that is yeah. akin to something like that. Yeah. Um, I, at the bare minimum, mm. if you want to do hand mining, I could mm. see this ship being a bonus to you because mm. being a scout, it should detect that, that's, those things a lot easier. That's probably where we disagree a little bit. Agrid looks into mining, I think, because Drake is more towards salvage, aka the Vulture in the background. Yep. It might be a salvage vehicle. But again, yeah. we are speculating to high heaven there. Um, I, I'm just talking, like yeah. when I say mining, I'm talking if you're mm. a hand, if you want to try hand mining. Mm. At present, just with a scanner, without a vehicle, mm. yeah, that should be able to detect I, the stuff a lot easier. But yeah, I think being in Drake, the, it should be more salvage. I think in the final game, though, most people are going to lean towards the Terrapin because uh, the features are almost exactly the same. You just get, but having the two dishes is a, is a big plus. Um, you've also got the armor on the Terrapin and the venting of the heat and all that, so it's got better heat management. Um, so yeah. And it's also got uh, better VTOL because it's got the, the four of them. So we'll have to see. Um, again, uh, also at, the armor. <laughs> um, but yeah. Absolute bare minimum. Absolute bare minimum. This is a good LTI token. Yeah, absolutely. And I think I think based on real world value, it is kind of better than the Terrapin because obviously you get four of these for one. Um, and in the game right now, there's there's no, no difference. But in the future, that... that, that uh, Two dish thing well, will basically really come out a lot. It, it's even more than you just said. It's four for the mm. price of one plus twenty dollars in change. Yeah, yeah. So, um, all right. Well, let us know in the comments what you think below. You can obviously see that we've had a bit of back and forth on this, and it's mainly because of the old versus new components. I mean, mm. very confusing. Um, and I was just like, well, look what it's got on it. Now, was looking at the data and. We were arguing back and forth. But, Leah, long story, long story short, um, let us know what your thoughts are in, uh, uh, below in the comments. What did you think of the cutter? I think it is a, a great little addition. I think it does speak to a niche, but I think generally most people are going to be happy with the base because you're going to be doing your cargo run, and then you're going to move on. Yeah. And and let's be honest, that Terrapin is not worth it. If you look at the in-game prices, it's a lot lower. So the gap is actually a lot clo closer than Force... Yeah. So I think most people are going to again try a generalist and then go straight to the Terrapin. I think they won't even bother with this. They'll just step mm -hmm. over it. Um, that's my thoughts. Yeah. What about you, Ag? What would you like to hear from people no, in the comments below? 
what are your thoughts? I, I, I you know, I, I, I tend to agree with you in terms of the, the base cutter being a mm. better option, um, mainly because you've got more versatility. If you're someone who is really into that searching and scouting thing, I could see you doing this, but again, it's, it's, it's very niche, and I think that's its downfall. Mm. Uh, so tell us what you think. What, what do you like or dislike about the Terrapin, sorry, the uh, cutter scout uh, mm. versus the cutter and the Terrapin? All right, with that then, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell, and thank you to all the people on the list at the end of the video in the credits for supporting us on Patreon and going that extra mile. Really appreciate it. With that then, he's been Algrid. And execute, and we're out of here. Take care. Catch you in the next one.